Greetings to you in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Today is the eve of Christmas. Every Christian household will be filled with music, joy, laughter, and not to forget the smell of cookies baking in the oven. This is a time when Christians and non-believers come together to celebrate this auspicious day. So, let us look at the actual reason behind this joyous day. For this, we're going to look into the second chapter of the Gospel of St. Matthew. The Gospel of St. Matthew, chapter 2, verses 1 to 12, describes the greatest story ever told, the birth of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ in Bethlehem of Judea and the events that followed in the days of Herod the king. The wise men from the east came to Jerusalem and asked, Where is the one who's been born king of the Jews? We saw his star and have come to worship him. Herod the king heard this and was distressed. So he gathered all his priests and council of the people together and demanded to know where this Messiah was to be born. In Bethlehem, in the land of Judea, as written by the prophets, was the answer. The scheming, paranoid Herod secretly spoke to the wise men and instructed them to go search for the young child and report back to him the details so that he could go and worship the child as well. The wise men then followed the star, which they knew was a sign from God announcing the birth of Christ. The star guided them to the manger where the baby Jesus lay. Overcome with joy at the sight of the baby, they knelt and worshipped him. They then lay before him the gifts they had brought along. They were symbolic gifts, gold fit for the king, a symbol of Christ's kingship on earth, frankincense fit for a priest, and myrrh, the oil for anointing. Now, God being in charge wants the wise men in a dream not to return to King Herod, and so they return home taking a different route. In this gospel, we see that the wise men fulfill their quest, finding Christ of Israel, the child to be the king of the Jews, and the child who was named Jesus, meaning the Lord saves. And Herod, the conniving ruler, who pretended to be genuinely interested in finding this baby, had his plans thwarted by God by guiding the wise men to take the, a different route back home. The birth of this child of God is of utmost significance, transforming the darkness of humanity into a life of hope and salvation. The simple but abundantly overwhelming truth here is that Jesus is the Messiah, the Prince of Peace, whose birth was foretold by the prophets. Jesus is to be worshipped by not just the Jews, but by all the people of the world. So this is where we ask ourselves, are we willing to follow the shining star and find our Lord and Savior and kneel in front of Him and worship Him? This is the day and age when most importance or more importance is given to commercializing Christmas. So let us take a few moments out of our day to remember the real reason behind the season. The birth of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. There is no Christmas without Christ in it. Let us now bow our heads for a moment to say thanks to our God in heaven for sending us his son to be with us, to guard, guide, and keep us every moment of our lives. Lord, we are forever grateful for your never-ending love. During these times of unrest and uncertainty, bless us with your peace and understanding. We ask everything in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. We wish you all a very Merry Christmas.